Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in this video, we are going to discuss about Cloud SQL in Google Cloud. So if you are new to this channel, you can just check out my previous videos where I have created a multiple videos on each of the Google Cloud service and all these videos are completely hands-on. So if you want to learn a Google Cloud, you can just check out other videos. Also, if you are facing any issues, you can join my WhatsApp community. The link is in the description. So there are already 200 plus Google Cloud learners and experts helping each other solving each other's query so that will be helpful for you okay now coming to this video so in this video we are going to discuss about a cloud sql service in google cloud and we'll do a first a conceptual view what is a cloud sql why we need a cloud sql and then we'll jump into a cloud sql on a google cloud console and try all the features try all the hands-on and just play around with the cloud sql okay? so first thing what is a cloud sql so Cloud SQL is a managed a relational database service in Google Cloud. So this is uh, exactly, I would say exactly similar to the uh, Amazon RDS and uh, Azure SQL. So these are having a bit more features or more databases like uh, RDS supports like Oracle, it supports uh, I think MariaDB. Um, but in a Cloud SQL, uh, currently Cloud SQL supports three databases. MySQL, then it supports PostgreSQL and it also support a SQL server. So these three databases are supported by a Cloud SQL as of now. So then we'll see a, what is a Cloud SQL, a simple a definition or simple view of what is a Cloud SQL. So Cloud SQL is a fully managed a relational database service. What are the key features? So it provides backups, high availability and failover, network connectivity, export and import feature to export and import databases maintenance and updates, monitoring, logging. So all these features we are going to see in our video, all these things we are going to do practically. So just try to understand what is Cloud SQL when it comes to a fully managed. It means the infrastructure is completely managed by Google. You have to just take care of your database. Okay, let's say suppose if you are doing a database management using the traditional way, you need one server. On that server, you have to manually install your database. Uh, installation you have to configure your databases you have to take you have to configure the backup manually you have to set up the jobs manually uh, if you have to check for the all performance manually like CPU utilizations uh, storage all things you have to set up manually then logging and monitoring so a lot of things you have to manage there is a lot of operational overhead so when you use a cloud SQL this is fully managed infrastructure and all these features are automated features in a cloud SQL okay so just see in more details why we need a Cloud SQL or what are the advantages of using Cloud SQL. So this is fully managed service where infrastructure is completely managed by Google with the features like automatic backup, update, patching and maintenance. But if we are using the traditional database system, it requires manual setup, configuration, maintenance, patching and backup. Everything needs to be done by DBA manually. Then the scalability, if like storage, we need additional storage for Cloud SQL, you can be increase the storage manually or there is option for the automatic storage increase it is just without any downtime but if you are doing it the traditional services scaling often requires provisioning new hardware and a significant downtime okay that is again the drawback of the traditional database system then high availability and reliability because it provides uh, automatic failover multi-zone replications and uh, other features for HA and disaster recovery but the traditional databases require complex manual DR setup cost efficiency based on your usage we cannot directly say it is much cheaper than traditional it's based on the usage you have to pay on the cloud that as much as you are using you have to pay only for that no upfront cost let's say suppose if you are using the 10 GB of storage you have to pay only for the 10 GB but in traditional databases you have to allocate the hardware and you have to pay for that hardware there is additional licensing cost then maintenance of db all additional things are there which will have the increased cost on the traditional databases and there are a few more features in a cloud sql like security it is having a built-in google managed encryption it is having im control automatic security patches which are not available and it has to be manually configured by the dba then as we already discussed backup and disaster recovery then performance tuning integration and compatibility and accessibility and collab collaboration so all things are available in cloud sql so all features are provided by google you have to just understand how we should use this feature and then we'll take the full advantage of the cloud sql okay so this was about the advantage of cloud sql 
now we'll just check the architecture how cloud sql because as we mentioned it is managed by google cloud so no one will ask you the architecture but to understand the better you should understand that back end of the cloud sql there is a virtual machine running and on that virtual machine there is a uh, installation for mysql postgres or sql based on the uh, version you are choosing and then it also have the primary vm and standby vm if you are going for the HA mechanism or had uh, like failover or HA mechanism okay so you can see here this is a one VM which is managed by Google you do not have direct access to this VM and you will have the additional storage attached to you which will store your database files then you will have logging monitoring and additional HA VM for the standby and there will be one static IP and your application can connect to a static IP so this is kind of the architecture which we do not have a direct visibility but you can understand from the diagram that these things are completely managed by Google and you will just manage one instance as a cloud SQL instance now this was a theoretical view there are few things which might not be a clear from the theoretical view so we will directly go to the cloud console now we'll jump into the hands-on and we will see how we can work on the cloud SQL instance so first I will go to the cloud console and we'll see how we can create a cloud SQL instance